All right, Brian, thanks. More now on the potential end today to a grim controversy plaguing the Milwaukee Police Department. Milwaukee's Common Council approved a settlement for victims of illegal strip searches, but not without heated debate. Jonah Kaplan reports. An intense debate inside council chambers revealed two things. The strip search scandal struck a nerve in every city leader, and everyone agreed the city needs to move on. This was a sad day in the history of the Milwaukee Police Department. Police officers who indulged in this activity in almost an organized manner need to face up to what they did. Four officers were fired and one is in prison for the strip search scandal, which first made headlines in 2012. Investigations revealed the officers forced black men to undergo illegal body cavity searches during arrests and traffic stops. 74 victims sued the city and named 131 officers in court documents. Even today, though, some aldermen were not ready to say sorry. Please note, please note that many of these people that had this procedure done are known drug dealers. Still, they thought the $5 million settlement is a good deal for taxpayers. It would be real easy to say, all right, Mr. Demagogue, let's send it back to the committee and let's reject this settlement. Let's force every single case to trial. Let's keep spending a million dollars a year on outside counsel. Let's take our chances with juries. Now that the Common Council has approved the settlement, the mayor now has to sign off on it, and it goes back to the plaintiffs, the other side of this case, to also agree. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Now $5 million will be split among the plaintiffs and attorneys and will also pay for restitution for the victim's child support. This is